We continue here at Radio Road. Joining us now, one of the best receivers in the National Football League. One of the who, best. Who finally got onto the kind of platform that allowed the world to recognize right. what Chris Sims has been saying for years now. And he really has been. I was giving you a hard time before, but he has been. <laughs> DJ Moore, one of the best receivers in football. Probably in your top five. De I mean, top five, right? Is it frustrating as a receiver off of that sometimes to go like, man, I know I'm like as good as Jamar Chase or Justin Jefferson, mm -hmm. and you're not in the right situation. You're watching them get all the attention. How? What is that like? Yeah, when the stats marry each other, it's, it's like maybe it's because they're in a better market. But in Carolina, you know, it's a small – Small little market, so but right. when I got to Chicago, it was just like I was doing the same things there. Now I'm doing here, right, and right. it just got blown up. Yeah, so I'm had happy a, for a it. Monday night game. You did it. You had yeah. stuff like that. All of a sudden, you're you're out there and you're yeah, a star. Yeah. Definitely the Thursday night game. Is, the is the what Thursday made night me, made right. me blow up. Right. The how Washington much, game. Yeah. How much did you know it was coming last year when the trade happened? Did you have an idea it might happen, or it's just like boom, they call you up, you're going to Chicago? Uh, happened like that. Uh, Happened so fast. I was just coming down my driveway because we was changing houses, uh, me and my family. So it was like, uh, yeah, you're getting traded to Chicago. Uh, so wait, you're changing houses in Charlotte. Yeah. And now it's time to change houses again. Yeah. Man. Oh, wow. So it was like, bang. Signed a deal next year. Okay, you, you're leaving. We traded you for the first overall pick. Uh, so I was like, dang. Yeah. Damn, but it's been cool, right? The experience? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, Chicago, the fans, the organization has been lovely. They all treated me with open arms. So I loved it. Yeah, all right, so we're not going to dance around this subject. You know where we're going right here, right? Going, all right. Yeah. I mean, right because, to it, baby. Right, we right. might as well just get it, get it over with because I think we're both believers in keep Justin Fields. Yeah. He does a lot of good. Right, he's getting better and better, throwing mm -hmm. decisions, all that. Build the freaking team around you guys. We're kind of that, but we feel like it may be going the other way. So, uh, where where are you feeling about this, or how are you feeling about this? You took this? the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. That's uh, everything I've been saying. So, uh, his growth has been phenomenal. If you look at the games where he came back off an injury, he's been everything that you can ask out of a quarterback. Uh, just putting your players in position to win and getting the ball to his playmakers, and if he got to do it himself, he, he does it himself and takes it like 50, 60 yards and uh, does his thing, and that's all you can ask is just steady growth, and that's what he did. Yeah. Hey, DJ, tell us something we don't know about Justin Fields that we should know. Uh, he's a great leader. Like, he might not say it uh, out loud, but he leads by example, and, like, if he has to speak up, he will speak up and make things happen. Are you surprised with, like, how it's so polarizing, right? Like, it feels like in Chicago, he turned the fan base a little in his favor towards the yeah. end of the year, where I would go on things in Chicago, and they'd be like, yeah, we're, we're up for keeping Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, do you get exhausted, like, kind of sticking up for him at times? Uh, no, I don't get exhausted, because I know uh, his growth and that uh, everything that he went through uh, the, past, the past year and then the year that I came in. So just to see that year that he... They went three and what something yeah, like that, right? And then the turnaround and just had add more for four more wins. It had had to be something uh, with growth. Uh, so I'm proud of him, and uh, I know the fans love him. And and really you're on know, record, and you want Justin Fields as your quarterback. I'm definitely on record. Yeah. This year started slowly, and then there was a point where it all turned. And by the mm -hmm. end of the year, you were one of those teams like you know the rest of the teams that are getting into the NFC playoffs may not want the Bears to right. get in. What was the thing that turned it around for yeah. you guys? Uh, just everybody just, just honing in on different things. You know, O-line was just focused on the O-line. Running backs was focused on their game plan. Re receivers and quarterbacks was focused on theirs. So everybody was just locked in and just like, hey, we got to make this thing go. The coaches just, just going to call the plays that they call, and we just got to make it work. How Good. surprised were you that Luke Getze, the offensive coordinator, wasn't kept with the team? Uh, how surprised was I? I mean, it was 50-50. It was uh, exit interviews was uh, with the GM and and the head coach, so you could no feel matter. it a little. You could feel it coming. You could, you uh, could feel something. There was questions ruined. or yeah. something, right? So at that point, it was just like it's up to them to make the decision, and everybody gave their input, and I mean that happened, and now we have Shane. So on to that. What's the what's the big difference between Chicago and Carolina? Like just playing there and and being a part uh, of you know both those kind of cultures the fans the fans are crazy are in chicago crazy right in chicago right and they're starving it's, it's, they're starving but they they're crazy respectful fans you know they, cool. they if they see you out there they respect you uh if you wish your family are out eating 
and Charlotte, they're the same way, but Charlotte, they was a little bit more scary and timid. They come up, and Chicago, oh, they just, Chicago, they're just they're like, they hey, come yeah, up. I'm yeah. a Chicago Bears fan. Yeah, they yeah, 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 right. come up right to you, but they'd be respectful <laughs> with it. Uh, all right. Um, I know, you know, I, I think you're one of the most talented guys in football, and usually talent knows talent, right? Mm -hmm. I told you before we started, Michael Parsons said you were the best player he played against two years ago. Give me receiver in football right now that kind of puts you in awe at times and you go damn that's a baller mm -hmm. and give me a defensive guy that you just go damn that guy's good when i see him on the field every week uh justin jefferson has a hot hand right now at receiver yeah, right no he does different things uh, his fanboy justin jefferson watch out his minnesota vikings fan oh no oh i know right yeah. so you know this if isn't you don't about talk justin him, jefferson and you just want to make this isn't you about and me, me. The hell with and, him. and he's the dj moore fanboy yeah. right and when justin was on yesterday he i didn't do this to him and he didn't do this so <laughs> i you know Shut go ahead do your up. thing do your thing he, he, he was talking about justin great jefferson. players go yes. ahead he, he does some amazing things as, as you can see he put his career his young career together it's been amazing uh, uh, the one hand catches the him showing up in big time moments and then on the defensive side you gotta give it to Sneed from the Chiefs. Oh he's been shadowing people and right. putting people on locks. Uh so I mean Yeah you got I to face that, that this year, yeah, right? Could, so yeah. he so really it was he was the real deal. Real deal. Yeah. Did he try yeah, to cool manhandle you the way we saw him do uh, Tyreek Hill? Yeah he caught me one time like that. <laughs> he did? Yeah. And uh, I was like, all right, don't do that again. <laughs> and I was ready for it after that. And like he caught me on it was like real sneaky with it, so uh, you don't know when it's coming. So yeah. it was, it was What's like, he do right. though? What's he do that, that you don't see it coming? Just his demeanor, uh, like he acts like he's not going to do it, he and then he just like does it. Over. He like yeah. he's looking at the ball, and then he like quick jams you as soon as like he knows the snap count's coming. So it was like like a real big shock. When and you're looking it. at the ball. Yeah. And so to be I was like, looking, and yeah. then I turned. I got hit. I said, "Whoa." <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate you being uh, honest about it yeah. and letting us know that. That's that's uh, that's cool. You got something going on with Mountain Dew. Tell us more about it, DJ. Yeah, I'm with Mountain Dew. Uh, after I had this big commotion uh, on a, on a podcast with a fellow teammate of mine, uh, Equinemia St. Brown, and about me loving Mountain Dew, they Man. they they reached out and wow uh, wow. Now now uh, Baja Blast is a big deal, and on Sunday it's a big commercial coming out, and I can't wait to see it. And uh, I may or may not be a part of it. So, uh, wow. We Which means he's a part of it. Wow. Which means he's a part of it. Baller here is doing last Super Bowl night, commercials. I got home last Mountain night after Dill. 11, and I stopped at the store in yeah. the hotel, and I got a big bottle of Diet Mountain Dew, yeah. and I drank it all, and it was awesome. And then I was up till 3. What? But, but, <laughs> that's what it do. They give you that first. <laughs> give you that first. That I love Mountain Dew. Like, yes. Mountain Dew, other than just Pepsi itself, is yes. my next drink. Like, de definitely down the line. You're drinking Diet Mountain Dew? Yeah, I was about Diet? To ask like, what do you, what do you, what do you, I'm trying, trying to underwear modeling this maybe, morning. Maybe I do. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Nah. You got to go regular. You got to go regular. You got to go Dew. regular Mountain Dew, man. Come right. on. Well, DJ, congratulations on your success. We're both big fans. Great to see you doing well with the Bears, and we'll be watching and waiting to see what happens at the quarterback position. Thanks, Thank as always. You. You're the man, Thank D. You. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.